Hey, Dr. Tom here. Uh, I'm getting some fishing in on a beautiful day. Um, looking forward to talking to you about why I can be out here because I have a team that I can delegate to and delegate to well. So uh, let me share with you the four secrets to delegation and why they're all the letter C as uh, I shut this noisy motor down to, uh, to be able to get this done properly. Okay, hang on just a second. All right, gang, now that I got this noisy motor shut off, let's get to, uh, to these four keys or four C's actually of uh, delegation. Um, again, if you want to live your life in your ideal like I do, which is time on the water like this, you've got to have a great team and a sign of a great leader is the ability to delegate. So let's talk about that very, very first key or C. They all happen to be uh, letter C here, okay? But what you want to do is you want to get absolute clarity on exactly what it is you want them to do. You want to spell it out in no uncertain terms. You want to clearly uh, talk about what it is and literally a great way to know for sure that you've spelled it out is to ask them if they have any questions. Now if you're a really strong leader a lot of times you know team members don't want to look foolish so they won't say anything but in fact you want to just you know get them to parrot back to you what you actually said and then the probability of uh, them you know being able to say exactly what you want where you can clarify exactly what it is that you want them to do you know that's certainly um, super 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 important okay so that's the first C is you want to get absolute clarity as you connect with them on exactly what it is that you uh, want them to do the second thing you want to do is you want to review their capabilities okay and in terms of capabilities um, a lot of times I used to be guilty of thinking that you know people weren't getting their stuff done because they were uninspired they weren't motivated they weren't you know focused on the the, the entire big picture of our mission and in fact a lot of times that's not true uh, in fact what it is I realized is that they just don't have the capabilities and why don't they have the capabilities because I didn't train them because you didn't train them because we didn't uh, help them understand exactly what skill sets and so on they needed to develop in order to do that so you want to review capabilities if they don't have the capabilities you want and it's a short-term detail deadline you want to be referring off to another member of the team if not you want to then you know look at how to train them up on that capability so that another time they could actually do that uh, kind of a task for you assuming it's going to be a repeating task okay so that's the second thing the third thing you want to do is confirm the deadline okay confirm the deadline there's another C for you <laughs> these aren't just keys they're C's so by confirming deadline, again, you want to be really clear about when it is. And the only way you can have accountability to ensure things get done is if, in fact, you have agreement. So you lay out a possible deadline and then you ask them if they can hit that deadline. Now, again, a lot of people pleasers will you know, sometimes commit to things that they, they actually can't do. So you need to confirm, in fact, what the deadline is and why it is. Now, again, this is a conversation. Don't be a dictator. Don't tell them it has to be done by exactly this date. Say, look, it would be ideal if it could be done here. How does that fit into your other priorities and tasks? And can it be done by then? Presuming that they confirm the deadline, get it in writing, both for them and for you, so that you can now hold them accountable. Of course, the fourth thing, you guys, is consequences. What are the consequences if they don't actually follow through and do what you've asked them to do? What is it if they miss the deadline that they agreed to? This is where most leaders need a real kick in the ass, and this is where they're afraid to actually hold their team accountable. Because great relationships have equal support and equal challenge, and you gotta be willing to care enough, or if you allow me, love your team enough to both support them and challenge them to make sure that they get done what they commit to, okay? So what are those consequences? Well, <laughs> I would suggest that probably a consequence isn't you're going to fire them, right? That's just a little bit uh, too intense. But the consequence of a reprimand, of, uh, again, possibly a, a, a formal uh, note put in their, their performance review file, you know, those sorts of things, so that they realize that you're playing big, you're playing flat out, and you want them to play flat out as well. This isn't summer camp. You want them to do uh, the things that they've committed to because you're on a mission. You're on a mission to help humanity be healthier, happier, and live at a higher potential. And that's a serious mission, gang. And if they're not mission focused um, and not able to support you, well, then you need to have some serious conversations with them or consider possibly replacing them because you've got a big task to fulfill. You've got a fantastic mission to fulfill. And the only way to do that is to get the support. You can't do everything yourself. Most chiropractors that I interact with are self-actualized, self-realized, ambitious people. And that's exactly how they got, you know, through the hazing called chiropractic school, got their doctorate, but yet that's exactly the thing that holds them back because they keep hitting their head on that glass ceiling of trying to do it all themselves. You need a team, you need to delegate, 
you need to be able to follow these four C's to get them to do that, okay? So let's review them again really quickly. You want to be really clear and concise about exactly what you're asking them to do. You want to be really clear that they have the capabilities. You want to confirm the deadline, and then you want to be sure that there's consequences if they don't follow through. So, hey, I'm kind of drifting a little close to shore here. I think I better get this motor started and get back to catching some fish. So, hope you're enjoying the rest of uh, your day wherever you are. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, for heaven's sake, subscribe, you guys. Um, we're definitely working on um, getting a lot more great content out there for you. The channel is growing. We're getting a lot more requests for certain things. So, if there's a certain uh, theme of vision-focused systems and team that you'd like to hear about, shoot me a note. I'd be happy to. Uh, to correspond.